In all this talk of the coronavirus, you may not have realized that there's actually another corona. And this other corona it is actually the outer atmosphere of the sun. It extends thousands of miles from the visible surface of the sun. And normally we can't really see the corona because the sun is so bright that to the naked eye, the corona gets absorbed into one big ball of yellow. And you see it here. But there's one time that you can actually see the corona. And do you know when that is? It's during a total eclipse, when the moon moves between the earth and the sun and it blocks the sun from our view. And then you see the corona and it actually looks like this. Do you remember where you were during the last solar eclipse? I mean, it's strange to see it get dark in the middle of the day. But if you get to really see it, it really is beautiful. It's interesting that the only time that we can really see the corona of the sun is the darkest time of the earth. The darkest time is when we see the light of the sun's corona that keeps us warm and gives us light. Now it's always there. It's always giving off light. We just can't see it until it gets dark. And this is what's happening right now all around us. We're experiencing darkness but it's allowing people to see the light of Christ and the light of the church in a very unique way. The light of Jesus shines brightest in the darkness. On bright days, we miss the sun's most beautiful light. We can't see the corona most days. Again, it's only during that an eclipse of darkness. May I suggest to you this morning that the same is often true of the church and the way the world looks at it. They miss the light of the church. They don't see it. They think of it as an institution or maybe a club or whatever, because we're so easily blinded by the bright, shiny, distracting things of the world. But right now, it's different. The world is dim, dark, and people can see. Some for the very first time, they can see the light of the church. They can see the light of Christ. Now, if you're a follower of Jesus, know that this dark time, this eclipse will not last forever. It's vitally important that we don't retreat into the darkness. It's not to be part of the griping, complaining, blaming, finger-pointing, fear-mongering crowd. No, this, this is our time to shine, to shine the love and the light of Jesus. Hope, joy, perseverance, patience, the kindness of Jesus. I believe right now people are looking for the light. So now more than ever, let your light shine in your family, at work, your neighborhood, wherever you are, whenever you can. This is our time to shine. Jesus, he said it this way in the famous Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a large lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds. Why? so they can glorify your Father in heaven. Will you let your light shine in the middle of this coronavirus this year?